Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode, we're gonna start off by talking to the wise one on the Papuchia Island to see if she can help us find the locomo Carbon. So let's enter this house. I believe this is her uh, place and as you can tell by the crystal balls and everything, this is most likely her. So let's go ahead and talk to this wise one. So, so pleased that you can make it. Of course, the stars foretold your arrival, Link. How do I know your name, you ask? <laughs> the stars foretold that as well. I know everything you see, even things that haven't, ha haven't yet happened. I sense your heart is very deep with concern. Is that so? Yes, it's true. I thought so. Something is troubling you. You don't have to say anything. I already know. Do you want me to tell you your future, or your fortune, rather, whatever? Uh, yeah, please do. I would like to know. So, I'm going to ask you some questions, so answer them with a strong, clear voice. Alright, here we go. Are you a boy or a girl? A dude. Does, does that work? A dude? Of course, I renew that. You know I was a dude. Okay, good. <laughs> What's your eye color? Rainbow. My eye color is rainbow. Rainbow. Ah, yes, just like my mother. Really? Your mother has rainbow-colored eyes? Okay. Whatever. Uh, and finally, what is your astrological sign? Well, mine is actually, I believe, Cancer, but I'm gonna go with Robot. I don't think that that's not a sign, but who cares? Robot. 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 Listen to me. Robot. What? Speak up, child. So, destiny means that little to you, does it? Actually, no, I don't know. Then let's begin up again. All right, astrological sign. Cancer. Not the disease, everybody. The, yeah, the sign. Cancer, cancer, black. Does my microphone not work anymore? I think I broke my microphone. What, speak up, child. And normally it shouldn't do this. You can literally say anything and she'll be like, oh, okay, cool. But um, it's, I, I think I spit in my microphone or something. So, cancer. Blowing into it. Blah 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 Ah yes, the sign of an inspired artist. I just said B B B B B B B. So the letter B is a sign of an inspired artist. Okay, game, you make a lot of sense. Now listen to the message of the stars. All right, I don't know what you're doing, but okay. <laughs> Whoa! Below where the sky dwellers gather, um, near the lonely tree, there's a hidden soundstone that will call him. What you need for today is courage. All right, thanks for the fortune. Um, I don't know what that meant, but that also kind of made sense at the same time. So this lonely tree here must be what she's talking about. And we have to somehow get this sound stone to appear. Now, I wonder maybe if we play the song of uh, Discovery, will it appear? So let's try that. All right, here we go. I love that song. Okay, you play the song of Discovery. And will you look at that? Yes, <laughs> I like how I just nudge Link to the side. All right, so we're gonna learn a new song, guys. Let's see wh which one this is. All right, purple, yellow, purple, and that's it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and play it. There we go. Yeah, that was awesome. I actually really like that. <laughs> This, that was a song of birds, guys. We're gonna figure out right now. But see what we did? We actually called the bird that was holding the locomo, Carbon. And now he's to us, so the nerve. There I was, flying high in the sky, unwinding. Then you play a song of birds and I come crashing down. Don't you know that song has the power to call birds to you? Well, now we know, thanks to you, the song of birds. Yes, we can play to call birds over. Sweet. Who is that? You the ocean sanctuary, blah, blah, blah. We came here. You didn't hear me yelling your name? Not to be upset, I wasn't lol- I was just lollygagging, you know? I was talking to the birds about different places they've seen. Oh, I didn't know that you were friends with birds, Carbon. I think it's by that Zelda means, Oh, I didn't know you were crazy. <laughs> Cause you're talking to birds, but never mind that. We're in dire need of your help. <laughs> Let me guess, yeah, we want to store the spirit tracks to the temple. 
Uh, he wants to relax here a little bit longer, but uh, well, we can take him to the ocean century. So let's go then, right now. I'll be for you in the train. Sweet, we got a date with Carbon. We first have to take him to the sanctuary though, so you guys know what's up. Yes, uh, we're gonna be taking him and he's gonna be in the passenger seat, so he'll have all his opinions and he'll share it with us and stuff and we can't really upset him. Luckily, it's literally just one line. We're gonna go through one like rail and that's it and we'll make it to the end. There's no turning. There shouldn't be many signs in our way or anything. It's gonna be super simple, super easy. So yeah, what well, is there to worry, you know? There is nothing. This is gonna be simple. We just go ahead and drag from here to there. All right, let's do this, guys. But obviously you still need to please them. So by doing this, wait, first we have to actually go like at a decent speed. So by doing this, yeah, he's gonna get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Carbon, but I was looking at the spirit track, so just stop suddenly because I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, here we are, and <gasps> oh my god, not this music! Is this Jolene from Phantom Hourglass? <laughs> Apparently not. It's actually a different pirate ship, but regardless, it's a pirate ship. So oh no, pirates! Wow, they... They ambushed our freaking train, our moving train. I don't know how that works, but okay. Oh no, pirates desperately kidnapping pirates. You must protect me from them, Link. Okay, let's do this. So there are mini blinds breaking in our freaking windows. This is gonna be bad. We're gonna have to repair this as soon as possible. Look, they don't even care. They're gonna break through your windows just like that because those are pirates, everybody. So uh, look on the map to know exactly where they come in from. And you want to make sure that they don't make it to Carbon because they're actually going to kidnap him. Like, no lie. They're not going to hit him or anything. They're going to throw a cage at him and kidnap him. So you don't want to have him kidnapped or you get a game over immediately. So I'm not going to show that off. Uh, if you want to try it on your own by playing this game, feel free. But yeah, I'm not in the mood for that. Uh, let's just continue stabbing away at these guys, make sure they are done. I mean, I don't know how many fit into that tiny ship. Then again, looking at our small passenger, uh, like, cart we had on our train, look at how big this is. It looks amazing. I'm glad we actually got a uh, look at it. Like, this is our first time actually seeing inside our spirit train, but, uh, there you go. They are starting to group in fours and entering the train, it seems. Oh, okay, it's still going. Let's just continue to hit him. Oh, come on. Okay, we're good. And they also drop a lot of hearts. Oh, help, they're closing in on me. Chill out, dude. I got you. I won't let you uh, get kidnapped, my friend. But what is going on? Okay, there's a giant pirate. He is here to fight me. <laughs> yes, this one's huge, and he's gonna be walking to Carbon ever so slowly. What you have to do is go ahead and attack him with your sword as much as you possibly can. If he swings his club at you, just run back. Now, while fighting this ginormous guy, you want to make sure you look at the map on the top screen. Why? Well, because some mini blends might sneak in. And believe me when I say that, see, they will, and they'll kidnap Carbon if you're not paying attention. Now, uh, as you can tell, all you need to do is avoid him hitting you with his club, and it takes a while for him to like charge it up and then actually attack you. So it's easy to really run back and then get ready to uh, deal another set of blows. But there we go, we're just gonna continuously do that, run all the way over here, stop this mini blend real quick, and then head back because, yeah, you don't want this to happen. So make sure to continuously look at the top screen because you don't want to screw this up. At least I don't, so I'm paying attention here. But this is kind of cool though. We have like a small mini bottle bass thing. Bass? Boss? Okay, no, no. As you can see, they summon, they literally summon the, um, the thing, the cage they're gonna put him in. Like, I, you got to see the animation of the mini blend summoning it. Luckily, I was able to hit him before he was able to throw it at him because the process is like three seconds if a mini blend is right by carbon. So you don't want that to happen. But there we go, guys. We were able to defeat uh, all of the enemies on that pirate ship. So thank you. You really saved my hide there, Link. Well, now that bit of unpleasantness is over. Let's go to, over to the sanctuary. Yes, we will do that, Carbon. Sweet. So that does that. Carbon is still not too happy with what I did earlier, um, as you can tell by his face. But luckily, I could change that really fast. And you're going to see how. Um, let's just go ahead and make our way 
to the sanctuary first before anything. So uh, we should slow down here. So we can start slowing down and getting ready to stop. And I believe if we stop correctly, he will be happy that we stop like the way we should. Okay, he didn't really care. Whatever. But there we go. So we made it. Ah, fine. We finally made it. It was such a short distance. Uh, away, but it fell so far. I suppose more blah blah blah. Okay, cool. And what is this? He's giving us something. Here, this is for you. You look confused. I'll explain, Link. Every living being possesses an energy, and this energy is similar to the energy that the power of the spirit tracks. The power of the spirit tracks. When a person's heart is especially happy or grateful, his energy level becomes particularly strong. Energy lives in the hearts of everyone, even feeble old fellows like me. I don't express it well, but the bottom line is I appreciate your help. Here, please take this. It belongs to you. And we got ourselves a forest gem. Forest gems in this game, well, Yes, restore some of the spirit tracks that you don't necessarily need to beat the game, so these aren't like, you know, a part of the main story, but they will help you access different areas, make shortcuts, etc, etc. So keep that in mind because uh, you plan to continue your journey by train, do you not? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to try to please a bunch of people and get more forest gems to restore more of the spirit tracks energy. So keep that in mind because that's something we plan on doing. And now he's going to head over to the sanctuary. So cool, dude, cool. Um, I guess right now we should go straight to him. Luckily, we don't have to head through that cave because, you know, as we've done in the previous episode, we've been here. We, we checked out this whole place and we solved the puzzles. So heading to Carbon should be really easy, basically, to like where the shrine is, where we have to uh, play the song um, that will restore the spirit tracks. And get ready, because this one's actually a little difficult. Hopefully I can do it on the first try, but let's go ahead and talk to him. So thanks again for earlier, Link. Let me introdu reintroduce myself. I'm Carbon, guardian of the ocean realm. You're here to restore the spirit tracks. Yes, I am. But of course, you've come all this way and I'll do everything I can to help. Very well then. In order to restore the spirit tracks, I'll need your help. You know, look at most songs. Yes, we know about them. Uh, requires you to play two different instruments to play different parts as well, so like a duet. I'll teach you your part first, so listen well, just copy what I do. Once you had enough practice, you can put down your flute. Alright, let's see what we have to play. This one's a little difficult because we go from blue, orange to purple, so it's gonna be like... We'll try not to hit the yellow one though. Um, so it's simple. I don't think I have much practice with it. Here, let me try like once or twice. Okay, that was horrible, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna set down my 3DS for this. Um, that's it, even though we did horribly. And now it's time to do the real thing, the real shebang. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put all my focus here. <laughs> you know, I actually screwed up there and like my stylus was gonna slip out of my hand, but I did it correctly So as you saw it's kind of random you might be able to play the notes fine But still struggle now my advice to you guys who might have problems with this one is to wait after he plays his notes Like even if the notes for you light up to play just give it a second and then wait for him to play his notes completely and then go play the three notes and make sure not to hit the yellow one at all so stop blowing or cover your microphone for that one second while sliding to uh the purple one but or the orange i believe it was orange i don't know i forgot i believe no purple orange to purple and the middle one in between is the yellow so you don't want to hit the yellow one Okay, <laughs> but with that done, we completed the duet with Carbon, the locomo of the Ocean Realm. And now, the tracks will start glowing. Yes, new tracks have reappeared. Yes! Alright, this is gonna be awesome. And I said yes like three times in a row. But, um, so what you're wondering if you can, tr uh, if the train can travel on the ocean floor, how dare you question the spirit's strength. The ocean floor is covered with rails, so of course you can, tr uh, of course, uh, the train can move freely there. 
the way to get down there is blast. I can't remember where the entrance is. Oh yes, I remember now. Uh, I knew I need, I might need this information later. I wrote it down myself just in case you forgot. Here, take this with you. Okay, so kind of bun bunched up the words he was telling us. But Carpenter gave us a letter, and this letter is gonna be the you know the instructions to actually heading to the ocean floor because the temple is actually, you know, the entrance to the temple is under the water so yeah i wish you success thank you um so let's start off by actually opening up this letter in our collection and see what he's trying to tell us so dear self <laughs> it's it's directed towards him i know you'll forget so i'm leaving your instructions to get to the ocean floor carbon now as you can see he did one two and three what are these well we're going to figure out real soon what those numbers are for. Basically, we want to somehow find the tracks that will lead into the ocean floor, but we don't know how. Um, luckily, our answer will be solved real soon because I am a fortune teller myself and I know what to do. Or I just know what to do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fortune teller if you uh, thought that or anything but yes exciting this is actually one of the coolest parts of the ocean realm this is the main reason why i like it so much it's because we're going to be sailing but at the same ta time not really sailing we're going to be driving on tracks but it's going to feel like we're sailing because we're going to be just on water well I'm also on tracks actually so never mind but here we go let's get started by heading here so we're in the ocean realm and it's time Alright, let's, let's kick up the gears. Uh, there's like a giant area here of the tracks. This looks so nice. Ah, and you can see the Tower of Spirits all the way back there. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. Well, let's keep our eye on the prize. And basically, uh, ignore this. We'll, we'll soon find a way, you know, to use this. But, see those flashes from far away? Yes, there's actually someone there. I believe it's Ferris. I think that's his name. Let's go ahead and stop. And pop off the train and see what's up. So, what is up, uh, my friend? So, so, we meet again. I heard the Ocean Spirit tracks has returned. So, I came to, to see it for myself. I don't, they just appeared, so I don't know how you got here so fast. It's just a rumor, but I hear that there are even tracks that are run under the water. Oh, and guess what else? Just guess. They say that the sculptures that react to big noises out there too. Okay, there are sculptures that react to big noises. Now, that is kind of hinting to what we need to do. Now, according to his letter, he put down one, two, and three, and if you look at exactly where it was it was based off of um, the tracks around the ocean temples so we're going to look at it again and then um, hit realm map open up this and now we can see what we need to do so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and draw one here two and then I guess three is like right here. It's not an island. So we're gonna find another sculpture, I guess, just coming out of the water. So there we go. We jotted down his little notes and we wanna head there in that specific order. So we're gonna go to one all the way over there where, you know, the one is marked on. And then we'll head all the way up to two and then down to three and uh, see if we're gonna discover anything. And don't you worry guys, we will. So uh, here we go. But uh, right after this whole shindig, the coolest part of the ocean realm is going to happen, and you're going to see what it is. I'm excited to show it off. But hey, another one of those jelly re ruby fish things. It's going to try to hit it. Okay, it's way too high for me. Let's have it sit down. Ha 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 ha. Okay, it's kind of hard to hit sometimes. You just could ignore it at this point. Oh wow, it just died because it hit land. Yeah, you can only hit it in the water, so they're not that helpful in this game. Um, unlike in Phantom Hourglass where all of your travel is in the ocean, so it's, com it's a completely different concept. Anyways, uh, so here we are approaching number one, and will you look at that? There is a weird sculpture. Hmm, let's go ahead and blow our whistle because they react to loud noises. And if we do that... There we go. Okay, it took quite a bit for it to like notice. But there we go, it turned blue. Yes! We are somehow activating certain switches that will open up a path to 
the ocean floor. So that's what we need to do. We need to head to each sculpture, and those are the ones he marked on the in the letter. And we're gonna use our whistle, blow, and then it will activate it. So that's how you do it. Now this part in particular reminds me a lot of Skyward Sword. I'm not entirely sure why it just does. Like the Lanaru Desert, I believe. I don't know what it is. This is obviously where the next realm is. They're trying not to spoil it for you, but it looks like mountains. Um, I wonder what kind of element, you know, it's going to be. We, I mean, we had, what, pretty much grass, water, and ice. So the last one should be obvious, but we'll figure out when the time comes. It looks really mystical, and there's also a temple we can see from here. Yet we can't really access, but we can see it, so yeah. Let's just continue on though. And this is really cool, this part where the tracks go through. And they go through like this cool circle thingy within the mountains. Let's go ahead and start using our whistle now. And the next one has been activated. Sweet. Now onward to the final one. Now I believe you have to do these in this order. I never actually tried doing it in a different order. Um, maybe it still works. I think he just wanted to show you the best, you know, way to do it, like through this specific route, because the third one is really close to the entrance to the ocean floor. If you couldn't tell, there's like a track that's heading to a dead end right by where I drew the three. Yeah, that's where it is, so I just spoiled it, but I don't care. I'm, I'm excited to show it, so deal with it. But here we are inching in. <sighs> just take in this amazing visual. These visuals, guys, they look so nice, and this music as well really adds to it. I love the music for this game, like, Spirit Tracks has, like, the best music of any Zelda game. Not the best, but one of the best. Um, it ties with a different game, though I don't want to mention it, because I don't. Because <laughs> it should be obvious. So let me know if you know what it is. Anyways, here is the final one, the final sculpture thing. Don't really know how they look, but let's go ahead and just play our whistle and see if I can actually make out what it's supposed to be exactly. That's, you can't really tell, so it's just some kind of ball wrapped around weird vines. But with that, <gasps> a weird fish statue is going to appear from nowhere, and we're going to want to head inside it. So here we go, guys. It's time to show you what I've been wanting to show you. This is why I've kept saying that this realm is my favorite, because of this real small part within the game. This, the ocean floor. Look at it now. Wow, it's breathtaking down here, Link. I agree, Zelda. And it is. And just listen to this music. Ah, uh, come on, man. Oh, yeah, and by the way, your cannons are torpedoes. <laughs> They're freaking torpedoes. It's so freaking cool. Um, oh, crap. No, no. I don't want to head through here. This is going to take too long. I don't want to take this whole circle. Uh, where are you? Did you need to kill this guy real quick? All right, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and switch position. Oh, wait. What the? Ah, get this off of me. It spit all over me. Oh my god, this is way taking way too long. Finally. Yeah, they can do that. Because they're like, I guess, octopuses or something. Anyways, we want to head to the temple. It's marked on our map. If we just, like, look on the top screen. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to see what, how Link's breathing, he's basically in this bubble that's protecting him. Giving him oxygen and all of that. Keeping his clothes dry as well. I don't know what Zelda's doing. I mean, she's a ghost, so I guess water wouldn't affect her, but yeah. Um, so it's kind of lonely. Besides the, you know, octopus, octorock things that appear in these bombs that seem to be floating up that look really similar to the ones when we'd go salvaging for chests in Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, it's kind of cool as well. It's like a nice uh, Easter egg, I guess you could say. It's not really because I guess it's common underwater uh, in Zelda games, but yeah. Uh, th those are the only two things you can find, but as we approach a temple, something is gonna, might, might surprise you, but I'm already spoiling what it is. Or kind of spoiling that there will be something, so it won't be much of a surprise. Here we go. Ah, oh, but look at that. And the music is so nice. Okay, so, yeah, an evil train will appear. 
And this isn't like no ordinary evil train, my friends. This one is actually out to get you. So what the game wants you to do is like, here, let me show you, is go all the way around here and make your way to the entrance and try to go slow enough to where if you're like going really fast and then you're like, let's say over here and this is over here, it doesn't turn around and try to, uh, you know, hit you while you're heading to the temple. So yeah, this one will turn back and forth. It doesn't matter what track it's on. It will literally switch directions completely to get you. Like I said, it's out to get you. So what you want to do is stop here and make your way close enough to the fork to where it wants to head upwards. So right now it's going to be coming for you and it's going to try to have up, head upwards. So we're going to wait for it. And then while it's heading there, what we're going to do is we're going to start backing real quick. All right, we're going to head up again. Oh, geez, don't hit us. Okay. Now it's going to switch direction. So what we're going to need to do. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I wasn't ready for this and I just screwed myself over. Now I have to take the long path because I there, there was a solution to this, a really simple one, and that was to stay in between the fork and then switch your path. And I did it earlier, like just practicing to see if it still works, and it does, but here I go recording and obviously that fails, but yeah, I could have done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my path over here and take a loop. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be taking a nice loop try to slow this guy down. Oh, another one appeared. Ah, God. At least this one doesn't like chase you like crazy. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get Rage of Charm. I'll let this one come really fast for me. I believe, honestly, I can make it out now. If I just take this loop instead of go the really long way and I'll be fine. How fast is this going? Yeah, this could have <laughs> this could have been a lot easier, my friends. But since I'm Zelda Master, my luck is just amazing. That's kind of sad. Right, yeah, it's still not too fast. Okay, please die. Please die. Please die. Eh. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you want to try it for yourself, you can. I'm actually, like, super upset because now I have to deal with this the whole thing of having it chase me. Regardless, it shouldn't be that hard. I'll be able to make it to the entrance now easily because the other train is all, you know, doing its own thing. So if I keep heading forward um, and head straight to the temple, I'll be fine. I believe at least. I usually just took the cheap way out. And before I had the other demon train uh, up here, I would just backtrack a little bit, um, stay in between that fork, have it go up, and then I'd switch direction and head straight for the temple. Uh, sadly, that didn't work this time, but I seem to be fine regardless. I'm heading straight forward. So this is the easier way to do it, I guess, if you're unsure of doing what I was trying to do, which is, you know, right here in this fork and try to trick it. Um, you can just do what I'm doing right now and just take a loop real quick all the way up here and have it chase you all the way to the temple. Luckily, it doesn't even go that fast. It goes, I believe, the same pace as you, so we'll be fine, and I don't think anything is going to stop us, so, yeah. I'm gonna continuously look back, though, just to make sure that it doesn't speed up. I guess I could shoot some torpedoes at it to slow it down slightly. There we go, we're good. All right, and that does it. So we are at the Ocean Temple. It's time to take it on. Still a little upset that um, this took longer than I wanted it to. I wanted to make it look extremely easy from my part, but uh, you know, people make mistakes. Uh, we're only human, guys. We're only human, even though this is just a simple video game, but uh, to me, it's a pretty big mistake, so yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm sorry I disappointed you guys. But there we go. Uh, here we are. We're in the Ocean Temple, and so here we are at the Ocean Temple. You ready to go in? Right, Link? Oh, yeah! Okay, then onward, but that will be in the next episode, of course. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.